so well um, do you want to you want to turn that real quick again Dan? i don't know if we caught that on the uh on the okay. recording. Well, it's, it's a rainy day. It yeah, happens yeah, yeah. everywhere. But, you know, it's like all over uh, the earth, except the desert. What, it less is, rainy days there. Yeah, yeah, less rainy days. So I think there's a desert in Chile that it rained in like like 400 years. The Atacama before. Desert, the driest place on earth. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. um, yeah. Hi, Sam. Hello. Uh, so today we are talking about finding new music and um it's an interesting ben perhaps knows that um there's a little well maybe he didn't see the thread because it wasn't in the main channel but uh there was a little bit of an interesting discussion um uh, not very not a very long one but about you know like is finding new music even worth it <laughs> but i'm going to take it as a given that you know uh if you're looking for new music you have some desire to seek out new music so um you know if you're happy with what you've got then maybe this is not the chat video to uh to watch <laughs> well, i'll just leave that in there as a uh a warning oh caleb has uh caleb's hair is curly today i think it's curlier than usual you're I muted muted yeah i think i think it's set the mute on entry oh um, man also has caleb's, no got a, caleb's got a flipper shirt yeah Wow. He wins the he wins the merch contest. That, <laughs> that wins. I saw them live, actually. I, I assume that you did. I will just assume that every time I see a shirt on you. Oh, okay. That's good. <laughs> uh, hey, have you guys are you guys familiar with Adrian Licker? With Big Thief? She's in a band called Big Thief. Now Big Thief, I know that name. Um, why do I know that name? Well, check out this song because it's mesmerizing. I I, uh, I was listening to her this morning. It was something else. I'll, I'll link you to it if I can. If I can find the chat button. There it is. All right. Hmm. I honestly don't know why that I know this band name, but I mean, maybe it's just because. Well, she's amazing. She writes amazing songs. Yeah. Was she in another band? I don't believe so. She has some solo albums too. She may have done some other things with other people as well. She's incredible though. Yeah, I'm thinking that it, she went to um to Berkeley to the College of Music, and I'm thinking she did something with some other people that went to berkeley and that's how i know oh you name. did you google that <laughs> yeah didn't. yeah i just because like there's there's some connection like she did something with amanda palmer or something um or maybe you know what i bet it is i bet they did a show for wfmu oh and, yeah they probably did i bet they yeah, did yeah and all that of that sounds like something all of those WFMU recordings are on the Free Music Archive. And, oh, uh, wow. Yeah. I mean, they were for a time. So WFMU was the lead, um, the sponsor of the Free Music Archive for a long time. They started it. I mean, the whole point was like, well, what do we put on the internet if, like, we don't know what we can play on the internet, you know, because, like, over-the-air radio is so different than uh, in the U.S. than – the internet probably everywhere but um but anyway um so they they a couple of years ago stopped um supporting the fma which is heartbreaking um and um commercial, i don't know which ones of these yeah. include sure i'll include all of them um but uh it went to kick split for a while which that was terrible um and then it went to uh that kick split sold it to um tribal no a tribe of noise and i had a lot of hope for them but i honestly they haven't really done much with it uh well i'm not i'm not seeing it um on fma so who knows um but uh 
that might be some new music for for people big thief um so how how did you come across big thief um since we're talking about finding new music oh i just randomly go to shows and when i went to see her she was playing at one of my favorite venues in town and and uh which is the old church and uh i went to see her and i she blew me away she was so good so was she the oh uh she was she the headliner and you just go to shows yeah or was she, okay. uh, she was playing she played there with uh let me see a fellow bucks i want to say his name's buck but i saw it on the uh she played she played with another songwriter that was uh in town and they kind of played a set together but her songs Oh my gosh, she's such a good songwriter. I, I was it's been a long time since I was that impressed with a songwriter. So I thought she was pretty incredible. Yeah. New but voice I, in the world. I think that's definitely just going to shows. Uh, even even if it's not going to shows, if it's just like looking at like the the band list, you know, like you'll see like, you know, if you if you know, if you just look at the shows that your favorite band is playing in like another city or something, and you'll see like opening acts that you might not, um, you might not have heard of them. And there's a good chance that they'll be somewhat similar to <laughs> the band that you, you know, were looking at. It's not always the case. Um, but I mean, like I saw Killswitch Engage years ago and they played with Dillinger Escape Plan and I mean, they're not the most dissimilar bands in the world, but man, if I were like picking two bands that I thought were alike, those would not, not be close <laughs> to my first two that would go together. Uh, but man, Dillinger Escape Plan was amazing. Um, and uh, just so much energy. And I, I've never been like a big Dillinger Escape Plan, like their recordings. I mean, it's an interesting sort of thing. Like some, some bands, they just are good performers yeah 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 so um and the, the kill switch engage was kind of a letdown i think maybe if they had uh opened up like literally there they they started the um oh so the, dillinger escape plan to open for kill switch engage i think they co-headlined but strictly speaking they played before kill switch engage. oh that was a mistake well um you know it is what it is uh <laughs> but uh I think I just heard Victor. Yes. Hi, Victor. Hey, Victor. There's a man in Kazakhstan. Hi. Yeah, we were, uh, we were doing all right. We're talking about finding new music, and but I was, uh, we were talking about live shows a little bit. Um, and um, the thing, the thing that happened to Killswitch and Gate show is they started playing like the, you know, the opening rain um, and thunder of raining blood. And it was like dark, like they cut the mostly most of the lights in the in the venue. And I was like, oh yeah, they're gonna like open with raining blood. This is gonna be like I was just like totally into it. Um and um but then like right when it gets to like when they would have like you know, they would have turned on the lights and there's the band on stage and they're playing rain and blood. Um they cut like all it was like a game show. And then they like announced the band members one by one in like a game show, like and on drums. It's like, and I just, I just couldn't get back into it after that. It was just like the show was, the show was. Oh, wrong. it just killed and, all that momentum. Yeah, I mean, it, yeah, I don't. I mean, I guess the, to the band, it's like you know they have to do things to amuse themselves, and um, but uh, yeah, it was you just for me, it just. For you, it killed the show, and then yeah. for someone else in the crowd, it was what made it memorable. Yeah. So, well, yeah. and you got to think, like, maybe there are a lot of people, you know, young kids and stuff. I mean, I was, like, in grad school, um, but, they, like, didn't know Slayer. And so, like, it was just kind of, like, like funny, like, ah, we're going to have fun with a game show. I don't know. I just it didn't, didn't make any sense to me. But <laughs> um, so, anyway. Uh, I have a lot of things written down to talk about with finding new music. Um, but these are things that I can always like bring back on another show if we need to. So I'm going to let other people talk. So. Oh yeah. I let the algorithm do it. 
Yeah. That's really? still said, yeah. Same. I hate doing that. <laughs> It so, feels like the lazy way out, but also like it is apparently pretty accurate for me. So I guess it, I don't care that much. Well, so I, I always thought that the <laughs> algorithm, the problem with that is that um, it, it's kind of like Facebook or Twitter or whatever. And it just kind of shows you things that like it shows you things that are very safe. So I actually think that it's useful, like when it finds something that is not of the same genre, but apparently has a lot of common listeners. That's actually when it's really interesting. And the further apart the genres get, and like the higher the number of common listeners, so you find some you find some interesting things that maybe you wouldn't have found, but also are kind of like things seem to go by mood a lot versus mm. strict genre tags. And I think that's a lot more interesting. So uh, that was sort of the last FM model do you, uh, do you listen to the last fm stream i i do yeah and spotify okay. has that to a certain extent as long as you don't repeatedly listen to the same genre over and over and over again yeah youtube mm -hmm. has a good algorithm too what about the YouTube? algorithm youtube yeah oh yeah 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 i feel like youtube though it's like a lot of the same like it's just like you know, you listen to Slipknot and then you get another Slipknot track and it's just like, well, okay. So not all algorithms are created equal. Cause well, for like, sure I have Spotify and I listen to last FM and my wife listens to Pandora and Pandora's al algorithm is garbage. It's so bad. <laughs> well, so Pandora has different options though. Have you tried like the deep cuts? No, um, I mean, I don't, I'm not really a user. I just, yeah. it's, uh, I don't know. I'm not impressed. Yeah, so uh, worst I mean, algorithm is Yandex Music. Yeah, but I'm not Russian, so I don't know anything about Yandex. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I'll believe it though. What makes it so bad, Victor? If it if it was a food, for example, so you ate chocolate, something brown, and Yandex presumes that oh, you you like some something brown, take a taste of shit. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. <laughs> the best algorithm ever. <laughs> That's awesome. There you go. Yeah. Uh, this algorithm. Yes. So yeah, the algorithm is not a foolproof thing, and they're not all created equal. But ah, it works. Mostly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I mean that's hey, what it's I'm there for. I'm so old fashioned. I feel like I still go word of mouth with finding music. I mean, I, I really rely on finding music in groups or from friends or people like that. And, and uh, sometimes people send me albums they think I'll like because they know me. You know, so what does word of mouth mean? Do you mean like literally? I mean, obviously, like, let's say like, in February, <laughs> like literally talking to a human face to face, or do you mean, I mean, you just said they'll send it to you. Is that what you mean by word of mouth? Yeah, sure. The, so, the, I, uh, so sometimes like sometimes it's just Facebook groups or sometimes a friend of yeah. mine posts something about an album, but a lot of times I, when I go to shows and things, I just talk about bands with people the entire time at the show. Yeah. And we'll be talking about bands. And a lot of times I find out a lot of new music. You know, that's definitely how I find out about local music around here, too. You know, so. One thing that's. Um, I, lo I love doing this. My favorite. I'm a people person. I, I really. Well, I, I don't know that I'm a people person, but I love talking with people about music. It makes me happy. Yeah. Good energy there. I noticed that uh, speaking of groups that that. Uh, it seems like you can't share the posts in the abnormal music group on Facebook. I was going to share one like yesterday or maybe it was this morning. It's a private know. group. Yeah. Yeah. It's kind of lame. I like that. I'm glad. Well, I, I, I mean, like my music to be secretive. I mean, <laughs> it's private, but it's like got 22,000 people in it. It's not super private. <laughs> Yeah, I know. I remember I was in the group when it was just 2000. Yeah. I liked it more then. You know, but that's a uh the the thing that uh that I was going to share. I was actually going to share it with was, my mom who uh who's listening. So, it was like somebody asked story. for French horn music. My mom was a French horn performance major and uh 
in college, but uh, in place of French work still. But, um, but yeah, somebody, so I don't, I didn't look, there were 49 comments, I think at the time. I don't know what sort of weird French horn music that they, uh, people were posting. Did you, ch did you see that thread? Was there anything good in it? Caleb? I don't, you know, I haven't been keeping up with a lot of the threads lately because they're really trolly. Yeah, some of no. them are, but. I, I don't know. I try to ignore all those if I can. <laughs> like this week, like yes, last night they kept throwing up Brian Eno birthday stuff. Someone was throwing I, up stuff about I mean, Brian Eno and it had one, pictures of people that were not Brian Eno. Yeah, one of them was funny though. The guy from, uh, I think it's from. Um, I thought they were funny, but after about 20 of them, yeah, I was yeah. like, okay, I'm good. It's That's, good. It's good. Yeah, yeah. He, he killed it. Sadly, that happens to good music sometimes. It's just like, yeah. you know what? Just stop playing this. It was good the first 4,000 times, and I'm, I'm done with this. <laughs> <laughs> um, so is everybody looking at the, uh, the chat? Because Sam posted this uh, Midsummer Madness. Um, and like, my goodness, there is a lot of stuff. Um, yeah. But they've been around since 1989. So how, how often are they posting new stuff? Well, I discovered about them a few months ago um, on a blog that I sent you the link to called Recent Music Heroes. Um, they had shared one of the albums by a band called Valve. Um, ever since then, I think they've posted like two or three albums. Um, and it seems that they like really like back catalog like old bands from like the 90s or something or old bands um that like released albums to like little success and so they're re-releasing them now for free and um i found like a lot of really good like portuguese portuguese um rock like this mid summer band this thing is like 95 percent rock it seems and there's a, um, I don't know if these people are related, but they're both in one. I mean, London's a huge place. Well, it's interesting because it says Brazilian independent music, but they're listed on Bandcamp as being from London, UK. Maybe yeah, I'm really not sure what that really um, says. <laughs> but but there's a, um, a punk uh, label in the UK that... Um, they kind of do something similar. Um, I don't know. It's all old stuff. Um, I think they released an album by Limp Wrist. Um, let me see if I can find this. But, uh, you know, some, some names that are like, you know, names that you might know in the punk scene. Um, but let's see if I can find this. Um, we, talk, we talked a little bit, uh, Victor, last week about, you know, you looking for music um, in your, your e-digging. Um, but what about just like music to listen to? Or is those, are those kind of one and the same for you? For me, it's the same. Yeah. Usually music for e-digging is very good music. You, you want sample, sampling some, something bad. Yeah, I mean, I understand that, but it's like something could have an interesting sound, but like the whole song or the whole track might not actually be good, you know? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, like, like if somebody has like a dope beat, but then like they're a terrible singer or a terrible rapper, like you still might be able to use the like the beat. I mean, that's what I'm thinking of. You, I can hate ja Rule, you can just say Ja Rule, dog. You can just say Ja Rule. If I will not use it, I can just listen it. Yeah, I mean, it's not a bad strategy. Um, so and this is that. Learn something new. I, I just posted in the chat the, uh, I mean, the, the, the two pages look slightly similar but maybe that's just because they're both on Bandcamp. i mean i guess they, it's it's a it's a different color background um and yeah i don't know but uh when i just saw the like mass of music there um 
yeah, this, uh, this is another one that, um, I, I think that, um, you know, net labels, record labels, that's a good, a good way too. I mean, Bandcamp gives you the, uh, you know, the option to follow, um, different people. But, yeah. The either, um, you know, the musicians or the labels or whatever. And then, um, then you'll get, you know, notified when somebody has a new, a new track or new album or whatever. I mean, I think that sometimes it's not about just, uh, you know, finding new artists. It's also about just like, you know, sometimes if it's not like a mainstream band, like even just knowing that they have a new album coming out, um, sometimes can get lost in the shovel. Um, but I think band can't makes that, that pretty easy. Um, if rather you than allow for, if you allow for, excuse me, I'm sorry. If you, oh, allow, for, if you allow for emails, um, you, you get emails from these bands all the time. I get yeah. so many emails every day. I can't keep up. With yeah. It. Yeah. Right. Well, and then, I mean, there's like, it's in your, like, um, uh, if you use the app too, then like, um, uh, they have um i guess the stuff that's in your catalog though is just stuff that you buy um so but um yeah there's all of bandcamp and in your collection as far as the the searching but um the bandcamp app has its good points and its bad points um i can't like i was able to add like custom genres like one time and then like I wasn't able to do it and I was kind of like well maybe they're having a glitch and then I would try to like see and just then I was able to do it again so I don't know what I have I don't understand why sometimes I can add new genres and sometimes I can't but um but uh yeah so this is for people who um actually see if I can see this haven't ever used the uh the Bandcamp app uh, you're probably not gonna be able to see this probably too bright uh it's coming through pretty okay um you can like pick your genres and just sort of like sort through um like how each genre is its own color <laughs> yeah yeah so you can uh metal has gotten purple so I don't know that there's any rhyme or reason to uh <laughs> to uh the colors but um but yeah so I added um you know, basically the, the genres are just tags. So, um, you know, they're not like, I just added creative commons. Um, what the yeah, hell that's black games? stupid. What was that? Sorry. They said that there's a genre yeah. called black gaze. Yeah. So black gaze is, um, basically like black metal and shoe gaze. Um, I love so, that. Yeah. I, I, it's probably my, um, my favorite, like, real genre there's this thing there's uh the, probably the band that i like i wish more bands would do this but um they're a black gaze band but they've like incorporated a lot of uh synth wave called abstract void um and it is just like the most amazing thing um i'll, I'll post a link in here um there is there are a couple bands that are doing sort of similar things um but uh you know, I think, I don't know, any, any sort of like scene kind of, there's a lot of copycats and stuff. And so I think that, you know, it's no different in black gaze. A lot of it ends up sounding pretty similar. Um, but this stuff is, uh, is really nice. Um, I think, um, and then they've released their instrumentals too, which, um, which I like that too. Well, I say they, it's a, a one man project, so. All right, so I'm just looking at my, uh... oh, the other thing about Bandcamp is uh, they have podcasts on, on Bandcamp too. And I think podcasts in general are a really good way to find um, new music because then, you know, you've got somebody who's who's curating it. And I think that, I mean, obviously you have that in, um, you know, if you, if you like read like an MP3 blog or something like that, but, um, for me, it's kind of like you're switching back and forth between reading and listening. Um, when you're on a, on, you know, any sort of like written material about music and I, I don't really like that context switching personally. Um, but then, you know, if you just have, 
you're already listening to something and somebody, you know, just like, here's another track. I don't know. I don't like that personally. Um, do, any, do any of you uh, listen to music podcasts? Um, I don't personally. I, I feel like I spend so, all my time with music anyway. So um, I, I just haven't. I would love put some in the chat, some good music podcasts. I'd love to check out a few. So, so one of the ones that I was going to mention um, or a site that I was going to mention is cchits.net. Um, it is complete grab bag. So, um, you know, if you are not the type of person that, um, that likes to listen to different genres, I wouldn't say it was for you, but like you could have total like top 40 sound and then like, you know, death metal, the next one. It's like, it's completely cool. randomized. It's, it's, it's like people submit tracks and then there's a, there's a daily podcast and what happens on the daily podcast is it literally just picks a track that has been submitted. It's called the daily exposure track. And then at the end of the week, they have um, a show that plays all the tracks that were played that week, plus the top three rated tracks from the week before. Um, and so, um, you know, you get a little bit of uh, a little bit of quality. You got some randomness and some quality baked in. Um, but I mean, there's a little bit of a, a quality aspect built in from the beginning because, like, somebody had to take the time to actually like submit it. You know, it's not just polling like Spotify or you know whatever to find this music. So um, you might have totally different tastes, but somebody has said, "Well, this is a track that I think." people deserve to vote on so um it tends to be i would say a little more poppy oriented than uh i would like but uh but it is you know you get hip-hop you get metal you get punk it's it's truly a pretty diverse mix there's not a whole lot of um experimental music i would say on there um on, wh on which on cchits.net oh okay yeah, I dropped the uh, link in there. And their monthly podcast, the last time I looked, um, wasn't actually, didn't actually work. I sent them a message about that and they were like, yep, it doesn't work. But they never sent a message that um, <laughs> that they fixed it. So I don't know um, what's going on with that. But, uh, but yeah, they have, um, you know, daily shows, weekly shows, and monthly shows. And I don't know, you know, like the stats, if you're into stats, they have that on there. Um, there's, a, you know, a lot of different things. So right now they have um, almost 2000 artists have been uploaded and 3,600 tracks have been um, uploaded. And then, um, you know, if you want, you can upload tracks yourself. Uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, they have, they have one. Um, yeah, the uh, the bug cast is another one um, that's uh, they talk too much for my personal taste. Like, um, you know, I I don't like oh, a whole lot of talking in my music shows because uh, I listen to talk podcasts at two x and then go, like going back and forth. Um, I find personally to be a bit annoying, but um, but again, it's a um, very diverse mix of music. Um, it's all coming from uh, Dave and Caroline Lee. Um, they're married and uh, they do this show together, but uh, they do, they end up having a, uh, a decent mix of things. Um, they're, they are, I think, part of the, um, what is the name of that podcast consortium? Um, they used to be part of um, the Association of Music Podcasts, and then the Association of Music Podcasts um, is no more. And then they joined um, whatever the network is that CC Jam is a part of. I'll find it here. But oh, the Other Side Network. Um, so um, they have uh, CC Jam, Open Country, the Bugcast, and then Tux Jam. Um, Tux Jam is like a open source talk and music sort of show. CC Jam is, you would think it was all CC, but um, it's not 
a hundred percent CC. Uh, they have like some independent stuff on there. Um, and, um, I think it's the same thing with, um, the bug cast. It's like almost all creative commons, but I don't think it's strictly speaking all creative commons. Um, so I saw Sam, you posted this, uh, the Malton records. Um, did you want to say anything about that? Um, yeah, so they are from Japan and they seem to be kind of popular for a nut label. Um, their Facebook page has like 10,000 likes. Oh yeah. Um, but yeah, I've found some pretty good Japanese hip hop and rap on there. Nice. Um, oh, wow. Do you know if uh, Cheese and Pot C have been on there? Um, you know who Cheese and Pot C are, don't you? Yeah. Okay. I, I mean, I can quickly. Uh, I, mean, I, just, I just thought, like, um, you might know. So for those that don't know, Cheese and Pot C are these Canadian expats that um, they both, they're brothers, and they both married Japanese women, um, and they both live in Japan now. <laughs> um, and uh, so um in not in tokyo and in, in southern well I, I think they're part of like the same island that tokyo's on but it's like the southern part of that island i think there's more southern places in japan but um but yeah they have a um i think uh, they're in like a band called d3z or something like that another japanese um band i'll have to find i'll find that link um beth you've been quiet what's uh do you, do you let the algorithm do do its thing or well music for me is a bit weirder because obviously i write about live music constantly i discover new bands by going to shows a lot that's kind of my thing and then i write about them and then from that i just i meet more people who want me to write about them therefore i get new basically it's algorithms and doing what i do yeah. That's me. That's how I find new music. She doesn't need to say much. Her eyes are saying everything today. <laughs> yeah, we made an effort. I love it. Decided I was going to be Britney Spears toxic. <laughs> A friend of mine was talking about shaving her head and I was like uh, uh, earlier this week and she's debating on whether or not to do it. And I do said, it. well, do it. I, yeah, I said go for it, but you're putting yourself out there with like Britney Spears during her breakdown, you know, so. And that's a mood. Yeah. Now's the time to do the shaving your head thing so you can say, I shaved my head. <laughs> Now's the time. But yeah, that's how I find music. I love it. That's a lot like how I find it. That's funny. Yeah, I don't write about it though. I should write it. I should write a blog or something. But I'm afraid. I play music too, but I'm afraid that people, you know, I'll, I don't know. Do you write? I need to start reading your reviews, Beth. Put that in the chat where you're reviewing at. Okay. I'll bring it in now. I've That'd got a great. this week. I've got about eight interviews coming up. With interviews? That's exciting. Thanks. Yeah, I managed to score a couple of big bands. Um, wow. One I can't talk about yet. One I can. Um, so I don't know if you've heard Bakovi. So I managed to get Bakovi to agree to do an interview, which was huge. And the other one, yeah, as I said, can't really talk about yet. Oh, wow. I'm excited to find out. Yeah, Bakovi are good. Well worth checking out. I'll put it in. I didn't. I didn't notice, but uh, Lance has uh, Lance has joined the fray, as the kids Hello. say. Hey, Lance. Hey. We we were discussing the um, well, we didn't. It was uh, at the very beginning. I cited our little discussion about um, you know, whether it's worth even looking for <laughs> for new music. But I uh, I, I noted in that um that we were, we were just going to take it as a given for this week that uh, people are interested in finding new music. Um, so maybe, maybe there'll be something good. Um, How can you not find new, good music, a good thing or new music? Well, I think, I mean, so I, 
you know, there's a lot of, there's a failure rate. I think a pretty high failure rate if you just like sort of don't have a good, um, if you are using a bad algorithm in the Ben case, or you have friends that like terrible music, <laughs> if, <laughs> you know, it's like, uh, you know, so it's like kind of, um, you know, and like most of my friends do not listen to the type of music that I do. So I would like not, I would not want to talk to them about, I mean, yeah, just, there's, there's just no, like my wife and I, we don't talk about music cause there's just no point. Like nobody is going to gain anything from that discussion. So I love um, talking with my wife about music because she totally is not interested in the music that I play <laughs> for her. She, like this morning I was coming down from, I was, I took a shower and when I got out, I was coming downstairs and I was listening to the gods and they're this psych band from the sixties and they're pretty kind of experimental or something. And, and uh, they rated pretty low on the Mindy scale, which goes from one to 10. <laughs> and uh, she, uh, but I played, uh, I played Big Thief and she thought, you know, it was good. And then I said, uh, why did you like it? And she said, well, it wasn't the gods. So, <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know. Talking with my wife about music is pretty entertaining for me personally. I, oh. uh, she's pretty funny. We, uh, I got sidetracked from the um, from the podcast discussion. I mean, the podcast yeah, can yeah, be their podcast. can be their own um, you know their own show in their uh, you know on their own. But um, yeah, it's worth um, you know if you're interested in them to put some more in here. Um, so ah, the um, the broadcasts. Um, it's just music on Block Sonic, but um, I would say it's reasonably diverse. Um, have a little bit of punk sometimes. Um, I you certainly. Punk, like, what kind of punk are you talking about? I feel like punk's almost not a very descriptive name of what something is. The punk I like is usually like. I don't know, man. It's pretty open about what they're doing, but some people say punk and they think rancid. So I don't know. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, this, I don't know if this band has actually been played on the, um, on the show, but um, this is one of the, I mean, this is like hardcore punk, um, but uh, ch -ch -ch -ch, that's one of the punk bands that we have. Um, yeah, and I guess, um, oh yeah, this is, I'm almost certain that uh, this band has been played on that particular podcast. Um, but yeah, those are both, I would say. Russian is questionable quality. <laughs> oh, dis Distemper is good. Um, I know that there's people that hate ska, but I really like Distemper. Um, wow, people still listen to ska? I mean, sometimes. I'm just teasing. That's funny. Uh, what is ska? Is it castrated reggae? Yeah, close. <laughs> <laughs> It's like it's, <laughs> Ben Ben has some ideas about it that are entertaining yeah. here in the chat. Well, I uh, I like reggae music. Oh, there's there another are different waves of it. I yeah. think the various waves are bad. Bad waves. Are good. So reggae music. <laughs> yeah. Distemper's been doing it since 1995, so uh, they know what they're doing. Uh, <laughs> but uh, there's another, there's a band that um, is almost like Southern rock, but I think they had some sky elements to it, but that was from Russia. Um, uh, they had some like metallic elements too. I wonder if I'm going to be able to find this band. Um, he was 
crazy band from Russia, Gaza sector. I think is a is a punk. <laughs> But it's terrible for me. All right. Well, while I'm uh, I can get us started on something else. While I'm uh, half looking for that. So I think one thing, um, like one way to like find new music would be to like use other music sites. So like you know if you're normally using Spotify to jump over to like Jamindo or Magnatune or something like that and listen. But of course the reverse is true too. Um, you know, is just start listening to Spotify and, you know, and the thing about it is, is that if you don't have um, an algorithm that's set, you know, it's going to be a little more chaotic at the beginning. And sometimes that chaos is, you know, where you might hear something that you might, not have already heard um and then like i know jamendo does um monthly charts um but they're like so late in doing their charts it's just it's kind of frustrating um i so was I look trying to find some good music on soundcloud but it's too hard yeah soundcloud I've, is not in my personal opinion a, a great place so like um Jamendo um like they don't even have their best of April out yet. <laughs> they have the best of March. I'm sure they'll get around to putting out the best of April, but it's like how long, does it, how long does it take? I it'll probably be at the end of this month, but I mean still. Um, or in, in December, for example. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it could it could be uh could be in December. So yeah, and their their 2019 year in review stuff came out super late too. So I don't know how they're um, curating it. This is another one that I think tends to be pretty like top 40 and pop oriented, but um, but not in um, not in a literal sense of that because like all Jamindo is 100% Creative Commons, so like the stuff there is quite unlikely to be on. Um, you know the top 40 but it, it has a, a often so it's interesting though because i feel like sort of free from the constraints of the top 40 that um i guess what you would call the the pop underground there's actually some interesting stuff you know like um or it's a stuff that's a little bit more outside of what you were saying like you know it'd be a pretty straightforward like pop song and then all of a sudden they'll start like, you know, like doing some sort of like 2000s era, like emo screaming. And it's like, that was just not where I thought this song was going. And like, it doesn't really, it was not something you would say, okay, put this on like, you know, in with that genre and put, you probably wouldn't put it in like, it's like, where does this even like go? Um, I don't know who is happy with that, but occasionally you find sort of like interesting things or just things that are like a little more, I don't know, like the lyrics I think sometimes are um, maybe a little more personal. Um, you know, they, they just haven't been like, you know, massaged and like filtered for top 40. And I feel, I like that sort of like rawness that you get sometimes, but um I can only deal with that like pop sound for so long personally. <laughs> I think we've had this conversation about um, the like crack rock steady um, side of Skycore um, and like leftover crack. Um, have you listened to any of those bands, Ben? You made me come off mute. Yeah. Fuck Scott. <laughs> right, but that doesn't answer my question. I feel, I, feel, I feel like maybe it does. But it's like not even like it's it's bad. Oh my god! Like gosh. barely ska. Yeah. All right, um, back on mute. <laughs> ben is like me, but 
Forska. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. So yeah, the the specials in English. Right? So. Uh, yeah. A couple, couple in there. Oh, uh, first. So. I want to okay. give a shout out to someone. A way that I find music a lot is through critics, and uh, I want to give a shout out to a special critic. Uh, in my listening experience, Mark Masters. And uh, man, he, he gives great reviews. I, I feel like I always check out the stuff he's recommending uh, because it's like the kind of stuff that I usually dig. So I, I, I'm into that. Do you guys have any music critics that you follow that you, that you think, uh, wow, these people usually have something I'm looking for or in their, in their uh, reviews? I already I gave my opinion, I think, on this. I don't like reading. I kind of just don't oh. like reading. I don't like reading, period, really. That's what it boils down to. So I feel like reading is like Ben feels about ska. I just, I don't want to do it ever. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Fuck letters. Oh, yeah. So what's this, this schematic here that you uh, dropped, so, Sam? Kinematic is a really good band from australia are they a ska be... band no <laughs> <laughs> no um but yeah they're i discovered them a few years ago um they seem to pretty regularly put out music um so yeah they're like in the indie rock portion um, do you know if they've been on like the the top you know the tracks of the month that Jimendo they has. Have. They oh. have. Um like probably like a few years ago they were yeah. in one of the best of the months. Um, Sweet. So yeah. I'm back to um to trying to find this band that was from Russia. It wasn't really a ska band, but I do think they had some some horns in some of their songs. Um but I wish I could remember if they were from um if they were from Moscow or not, because they may not have been from Moscow. Um, I think when you upload this video, you should title it Fuck Ska. Well, uh, I don't know about that. <laughs> you know, the guy, the guy that's making all these comments in the chat is, is on mute for most of this. So it's just, we're just enjoying what's on the chat. I, yeah. I, wish, I wish that you could see the chat in the video. Yeah, yeah, that would be nice. Be cool. Um, one thing that I feel like I'm beating a dead horse, but yeah, Scott's the actual worst, and I would never listen to that. Um, <laughs> well, really, is it worse than like uh, than Chicago country? Um, give like me big, an example of that. Anything that's been playing on the country radio station in the last twenty years? <laughs> uh we, but Ben's a big probably, Garth Brooks fan. Probably, because <laughs> at least that doesn't pretend to be something it's not. I, uh, I like, think it does. I think pop country pretends to be like, you know. It's like, garbage, and everybody knows it's garbage, right? Music like, are of we the a, people. A, it is where the singers Yeah, it's music go. of the people, which means it's garbage. But it's not. That's, it's like it's not the music of the people. It's like the music of like corporate radio. Like that's, I mean, like country now. I think that, like. Kayla's making the distinction between like top forty country and like what I think country it's a false was. distinction. I think it's been garbage all all along. Everything's bad. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just uniquely bad. <sighs> Everything's shit. Asian man. Oh, man. I, you know what? I'm gonna have to. They played this on the open metal cast, so. Um, you know, if you want to go back through the back catalog, which I think is fine because they ha he has a lot, Craig has a lot of, um, a lot of shows. I don't know how many. So he, he got open metal cast to 192, but then he has like the, um, the, he has instrumental casts and club metal casts. Um, and I think the interviews are like not numbered either. So I would, I would venture to guess that he has at least 225 maybe 250 shows so um but uh so yeah you can you can go back through the back catalog another one another um podcast that's worth going through the back catalog on well, of course music management um which i suppose i can drop a link 
in the show notes for that. And um, we had uh, had the punk cast. There's probably some ska in there, so you know, beware, Ben. Um, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh. And then, but CC uh, or Commons Baby was the name of it. It's a guy. Um, he, it's not in English. Um, he's from I think Northern Spain. Um, uh, but I think he might not spell Commons. It's actually on my podcatcher, so I'll have to. Uh, I'll have to look at that while. Um, Oh, the white market podcast. That's another, another one. Um, they, whoa, released... is that a real podcast? The white market podcast? Tell me it's everything that they're talking about. It, it should be like, uh, what is it? What is the content? Um, so, uh, so the latest show is called creative commons, business models for musicians with tribe of noise. Um, mm. and then the one before that was communia and the quest to save public domain. Um, that was talking about, um, you know, public domain in Europe mostly. So Roots, I'm not a hundred percent sure that I'm pronouncing that correctly. It's R-U-T-E. Um, she's Portuguese, but like she spent a lot of time in London, like her, you wouldn't know that she wasn't American, um, if you talk to her. Um, but, uh, they, they release pretty infrequently these days and I'm not exactly sure, um, Sam, do you know anything about why that like they release so infrequently? I don't know. I mean, yeah. I know that at some point I saw on Facebook that she was she had to leave England and move back to Portugal. Um, and but that was a long time ago. Yeah, and then there was like a few year gap between episodes, and then like she said something like she would come back and then like she did yeah. like a few episodes but then she had another long break um so yeah i don't know but um she really likes this net label called Mo monster jinx so um you know a lot of the stuff is from there and it's um i guess i guess uh easily you know, it's Portuguese hip hop label, basically. Um, that's the easiest way to sum them up. Um, but uh, there's definitely some good stuff on there. Um, what um, what, what are what, some? Do you know uh, Portuguese? No, but it, that that white market podcast is in English. Oh, yeah. Um, so um, and yeah, like I said, her English is flawless. Um, then the guy the monster jinx guy she interviewed him um his english was pretty good too um she also interviewed michael from block sonic yeah that was a that was like way back in the day <laughs> <laughs> i don't even know if that's still in the podcatcher and uh marcus from starfrosh uh, who i've invited to come and like i thought he would be a good one um to talk today so he does i might as well drop that link now he does this hot um 111 i'm not entirely sure why i went with 111 um but uh i think it's starfrush.com um i'll find the actual the actual thing um starfrush but yeah so that's you know again it's like um I think a lot of these, unless they're like genre specific, tend to like be uh, regressed to a mean, I guess. Um, but on this Hot 100, you can pick, um, you know, you can pick your, uh, at least there's a, a few different genres to pick from metal, jazz, soul, classical, et cetera. Um, and so you can, uh, and then I think you can just kind of like pop in. Yeah. Once you have the URL, you can kind of just pop in whatever genre you want in the last, um, the last one. So like, if you want to look at the hot tracks in Grindcore, then, um, you can do that. Um, but, uh, I don't know what, I know that 
Marcus was trying to get this open music network um, thing off the ground. Do you know if anything ever came of that, Sam? No, I don't know anything about it. Yeah, so I gave them the uh, the old music management Twitter because I was like, yeah, hey, we got a bunch of people that follow us. Why don't you guys just do something with this because we're not doing anything um, with it. And um, yeah, I don't know what ended up happening. I know there for a while too, there was a big like, um, I don't know who all was on the call, but I think the FMA and CC Mixter and a few of the places that have Creative Commons stuff, they used to have like kind of a, I don't think it was a official registered trade organization, uh, a 501c6 would be a trade organization. Um, but, um, but they had a little call um i mean it's open hmm, i thought it was open music network maybe it's open music net because on the music network isn't on twitter yeah here we go So that was, yeah, Starfrost was one of the ones. So we talked about Kwong Kwong Mu um, before. I don't think you were actually on that um, that chat though, Sam. Do you want to talk any about um, Kwong Kwong Mu? Uh, they seem to have a lot of quality links. Um, but yeah, almost everything is that they link is from a net label and and sometimes they say that they recommend something, while other times they just, it's just totally just a link. Um, and yeah, it's not just genre specific, they focus on a lot of genres. And it's nice, and they seem to have a lot of posts every month. What makes it nice? I mean, it's like, oh wait, I've, just like a way to just find other albums that people like net labels submit links to the Kwong Kwong Mu email address and then whoever's behind the website posts them. Um, and it's just a cool way to find things. Um, I, yeah, I, fo I follow some different things that are like blogs almost uh, yeah. or are blogs sometimes just because like I think I follow them a lot of times just because I like the name of the blog uh, for good or for bad, like new guitars. I think it's N E U. I still like guitar music because you know, I'm dead. I think Victor would say I'm dead. So I like guitar music still. And uh, they put up, you know, innovative guitar stuff, which is interesting to me. So. Oh, I think I started to talk about the Bandcamp podcasts and then like I started talking about just like podcasts in general. Um, I think that it's that it's just a um, a weekly podcast that they do. Um, even though it might be part of what's called Bandcamp Daily. Um, I'm struggling to navigate their site though. Oh yeah, Bandcamp Weekly, just to give you guys like a a decent uh, this is share the show. Is there, by the way, is there a video chat we could use that you could actually, or a way that we could do the video chat where we could actually see the chat as it's going along? Well, we could um, we could do like a screen capture with like Camtasia or something, but I don't have that software. And then we would just be like recording, you know, like my screen. Um, yeah, I think that would be interesting. Um, I don't know. I mean, there's some other apps like Discord, but I don't know if uh, I've never used Discord. Um, I've used it, but I didn't know it could shoot video. 
Well, that's size, yeah, I don't know if it can. Um, no, no, it can. It can? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, um, I don't know anything about, like, you know, what their, you know, what you have to pay for on Discord and stuff. Um, but uh, I'd be down for trying something different. Um, yeah, I mean, I always, every week, I think mo I end up with this, hand, this, you know, stack of music to check out. And that's a lot of fun. I, I think it'd be great to share it with whatever viewers we may have. So. Yeah, so what you can do, um, or I could, I could just like put this, um, I could just put this in the, in the YouTube comments, I guess, is you can save the chat. Um, oh, sure. Yeah. But I don't, there's probably not a way to automatically do that. Um, but yeah, um, that would be, um, we could definitely give something like that a shot. Um, I just think it'd be like pretty cool if you could just see what people were typing as, as the conversation was yeah, going. Yeah, I feel that. So. It adds a layer of content. Which is interesting when it's coming in live. Uh, there's um, there's also like the NPR music podcasts. I mean, I don't know. I know people. A lot of people like the the Tiny Desk. Tiny Desk, right? Yeah, um, it's hit and miss on Tiny Desk for me. But when they do come through, it's pretty good. Yeah. So they have a larger demographic than me, though. So <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's got to be. You know what? Um, you should do. <laughs> You'll probably get a lot of um podcasts that you don't or a lot of responses that you don't want but you should just ask about podcasts and abnormal music channel mm. oh yeah that's a great idea Dana. what's up yeah. 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 And since if I, you, I missed something i heard podcasts and i uh, sorry what was what podcast what Oh, uh, I was talking to, so Caleb and I are in, um, actually I'll, I'll invite you to it. Um, right. Beth, um, but, uh, we're in this, um, group on Facebook called abnormal music. And if you want to talk about hit and miss, like that group is hit and miss, but, um, oh, I love that. Just like Ben's music taste. Hit or miss. You know, <laughs> oh, my music taste is entirely misses. <laughs> uh, Mr. I hate Scar. That might be fun today. Let's talk about all the music Ben hates. <laughs> yeah, I could just have like a good long rant about how shit everything is. Maybe next week. Well, I'll put that on the on the the list for uh for that would actually be a. I think that could be a, a great topic. Like, what music do you really hate, or what bands and why? Yeah, yeah that would be. I'd be a big fan of that. Probably main contributor. I uh, well, I, I, I made I made worse the one of the uh, the things people could vote for one week, and people people didn't uh, didn't pick that. So well, oh, really, a oh, worse, yeah, okay, yeah. But that's yeah. that that could be a lot of things. But that like, there's things that are bad, but I don't hate them. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> true. I'm joining late, but I think it would be cool if like. That way, if you said, you know, I hate this, that somebody oh. had to come to the defense of it with actually something. No, I don't want to hear anybody's defense. I just want to hate <laughs> stuff with no ben, repercussions. Ben's five minutes of hate. No, fuck five minutes. It's not nearly enough. <laughs> what, what did we do this week to get so many wonderful people in, in today? This is great. You got the I'd momentum. Say I think New it's people. because Doug posted it on our, uh, he mentioned it or had it on his Slack channel at work. That's how oh. I found it. Yeah, but I mean, we've oh, okay. had that every time. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess I never clicked on those little music notes next to your name in the fitness channel. Oh, oh yeah, I had it on uh, on that. Yeah, that too. Yeah, so that helped. Otherwise, I was like, oh, this is cool. Yeah. So I'm sorry, I joined the game late. Oh no, that's that's late. fine. Yeah. Uh, so it was Guar. 
Oh <laughs> yeah, so the guar thing is uh that's like an inside joke. Not everybody here even knows about that because I didn't feel like explaining okay. it to everyone. <laughs> but we do it do, does still say quarantine music chat death. And so that's that okay. legacy has uh continued. <laughs> um these are not completely forgotten, thanks. Yeah. I invited you to that abnormal music group. There's almost 24,000 people now in it. Oh my God, that's too hectic. It is. It's like... I can deal with nine of you, let alone 24,000. Yeah. Well, I, yeah, I just, I've gotten to the point where like, if somebody posts stupid stuff, I just like, I mute them. I'm like, either, either I just completely block them or like no more of this person for 30 days. Cause there's just, you know, like, I don't know these people. I don't need to see their stuff. <laughs> But uh, and occasionally there's some there's some gems, and it's kind of funny the like just to see how the people like complain about all the people posting stupid stuff. I don't know. That's part of the humor. Oh, Ben, you are really hating on Scar. Like, I'm gonna fight you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I should. I'm definitely just, putting Scar as said, one of the topics for next week. Right up. He just, everybody, everybody, get ready to vote for Scar, and we'll. I'm gonna go no video Scar. and just rant. Yeah. Great. Is and how I'll, I'll talk. Ben and I will talk about our love for ska. <laughs> obviously, obviously, Victor needs to listen to some ska for next week so he can understand where I'm coming from. No one understands where you're coming from. <laughs> you're wrong. Awful. Not the specials are good though. If it's oh, somehow so related to some reggae, fine, just I will really like it. Any other ska? Terrible. Yeah. Oh, so we so, scared Dana away. Yes, yeah, ska comes from uh, comes from reggae basically you know another way we could add i'm, I'm already like it yeah <laughs> reggae is really borderline in a lot of cases too man a lot of bad <laughs> reggae out there you know reggae is a, a field that there is no feel. bad reggae oh now that there's is something totally I'm bad wow, reggae surprising. <laughs> there is bad That's surprising in for me that victor likes reggae i didn't know that what what's wild to me is there's so much reggae out there. Like I, it's a it's an area of music that I've never really got into because I feel like I don't know anything about it really. I I I know who Peter Tosh is and I know a lot of of the big guys, but it just seems like the music and is just something I don't know about. And what you know, I don't know. It's an area that I've never really what? dealt. I've been too, too far. You like the bad brains, right, Ben? Sure. Yeah, but bad brains aren't reggae. I mean, they <laughs> are, though. I mean, I mean... Sort of. I mean, I guess the same way Fishbone is reggae. <laughs> I will go on the record of saying I like Fishbone better than bad brains, which is maybe <laughs> a moderately hot take. Dana B... I mean, the bad brains, it probably depends on the album, whether or not you want to call it reggae or not. Oh, well, it definitely depends <laughs> on the on the, uh, on the the album. There's so many, like, if you look at the anatomy of reggae and, like, the breakdown of, like, dance hall, ragamuffin, like, it's like, you know, it has all its little, like, subsets that, you know, there's a little bit of, I mean, I, I pretty much liked reggae the first time I heard it and then I over listened to Bob Marley in my teenage years and then I've been in a hate mode of reggae for many years. Oh someone's got a Bob Marley legend CD somewhere I bet. <laughs> God, it's just like <laughs> Oh she doesn't deny it. I have to tell you that I mean at a point I was really into UB40 and like how could I have liked UB40 and Public Enemy at the same time? Like but the nineties were wild. <laughs> yeah, and I I have that Fishbone CD with U G L Y. You ain't got no alibi, you know. But it's like that's not something. It's not my go-to music. But like all those subsets of the genre, it's like there's some good areas of for exploration there. I guess. I mean, if you want to go there. <laughs> Do we have yeah. that? Di Does anybody have that infographic diagram of like? Do you, have you guys seen that infographic anatomy sort of like? Oh, like all the different music genres? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I've, I've yeah. Seen that. I've seen several things like that over the years. 
Is that the one I just did for you, Doug? I'm not sure which one you're talking about. Yeah. Mm, I'll I have to. It's kind of disappointing that uh, we can't share. Uh, well, I guess I could share my yeah, screen. Yeah, you can share, share content. Well, but I mean, like links, like it doesn't auto populate the, uh, like the. Uh, oh. Um, but uh, let's all just agree that whatever the musical content is, this Bad Brains cover is a reggae cover. <laughs> can we sure. all can we all agree on that? Are you gonna play it? No, the, just the god of the god of love. Just like just looking at the album art, or like that is a reggae cover. <laughs> whatever, whatever you feel, however you feel about the content of the album. Um, All right, that's definitely a reggae. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's like it's like with black metal. You know, you just there's certain like you see it and like oh yeah. I know what that is. So, um, which, you know, sometimes it's not actually the case, but, um, but you definitely, uh, it has a, an, an aesthetic. Um, are you talking <laughs> about the yellow tape? I'm putting myself on mute because everyone. Am I talking about yellow tape? Yeah, the Bad Brains first album? No, I'll just, I'll just share my screen. I mean, I posted a link, but, um, yeah, let's see here. This shouldn't be too hard. Where's the? I don't know how to do that. Stop video. Participant sh share screen. Oh, it's a big green button. I overlooked the big green button. All right, this. This God of Love. Ah, uh, yeah. So you're saying that's terrible enough to be a hip hop record, right? No, I'm saying like that's a reggae, that's a like reggae cover art right there. Like Oh yeah, with that lion of Africa. Yeah. I mean, yeah, that's seriously reggae. Is that what it is? A lion of Africa? I would have never known yeah. that. Oh that's wow. Yeah. Yeah, I'm learning these the, things. Okay. Yeah, I once did the backdrop painting for a band in Paris. I used to live in Paris and I did the worst lion painting that looked like a dog <laughs> i still made me for it anyway it was horrible anyway yeah so i know very well about the lion of africa don't make it look like a dog <laughs> i have bad feelings um hang on let me i yeah i wanted that infographic interesting take that uh Gosh, i love you probably all seen that are familiar with that can you just i can just drop it in the zoom yeah or you i does everybody uh have the ability to share their screen i don't even know i probably, probably. do i'm on a mac yeah, but i, I do. don't i've never yeah. done it before so, so you could either drop a link or yeah you could share the screen so um oh, wait, here, I'll try to oh yeah the taxonomy of music yeah that's uh let's see Genres are another thing that Ben Ben hates, so this is great. Oh, oh yeah. Yes. I'm sorry. That's There's only two genres, music that's good and music that's bad. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. That's a great, um, great thing. I'm not going to share it your mind. Yeah, because you guys can get to it. Yeah, yeah. I just always things to look at. Except ska is always bad. So what was the greatest but, thing you guys talked about that you're like interested in now during this? During this listening. plague? Or yeah, just, or yeah, like what have you discovered that's like really? Check out the chat. I think a lot of people are posting stuff. Yeah, there. I think uh, I think you should be able to scroll back through to the beginning. Um, okay. Yeah, and then. Um, oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, Ben, I agree with you. Yep, you'll be 40. Ugh, barf. Um. <laughs> well. Beth, oh. I wish Beth was not on mute. She is, you know, she's singing and having all kinds of fun there. I'm seeing some real big fish. I was just really sat here. I'm listening to you with their cover of Take On Me, just to spite Ben, really, because it's funky. Um, just really enjoying myself. Didn't think that you all needed to hear me sing though, so um <laughs> Oh um 
so one of the things that I had written down too was um, uh, uh, compilations are a good way to find um, new bands. Oh, who does that? Which one of you guys are looking at? I never buy comp albums and I feel guilty about that. Well, so sometimes I, they're included with stuff I buy. Yeah, and I think that's really cool. I think that's a good idea for for labels to include comps if you bought a lot of music from them. Yeah, yeah. So as um, like a compliment or something. Mike used to actually that those tags don't have all the net blocks on them. Um, Mike, the main guy at Black Sonic, he used to do um, this net block series. But um, I don't. I think that they are. I don't see a way to get to them on the on the site anymore. Um, but uh, but yeah, there's. Um, I posted one in the um, the uh, yeah. judges group this morning, actually, um, an Italian compilation. I mean, I've found that like if you just like do a band camp search for compilations, then you find a lot of random stuff. So. <laughs> oh, wow. I've never done that. That's interesting. Yeah. So yeah, that's, that's like my, like the way that I, 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 I've started using the app because um, I've been, uh, I've been riding inside because we have a, we, we bought a, a bike, um, an indoor bike um, because we're staying at home. But um but like I used to just listen to podcasts when I would ride my bike, but now I don't see, I don't see the point in like listening to podcasts if they're like on my phone and then I can just save those for when I do ride outside. So I've been listening to the Bandcamp app uh, and it's a little oh. bit different than, um, than like, cause what I normally do is I'll do like a, a Google search with just like site colon bandcamp.com and then whatever my search terms are. And um, that is kind of time consuming because like, you just, um, you know, it's one album at a time uh, or one release, you know. So if they leave, release a single and you've clicked on that from Google, well, you've got one track to listen to now. So, um, you know, but then, you know, like, so this Italian compilation that I posted, it has 116 tracks on it. Um, it's not the longest thing in the world because it's a punk compilation. But, um, you know, there's a lot of good stuff on there. I remember track two um, reminded me of uh, The Distillers. Um, but it wasn't the distillers. Um, but I guess I might as well. I've talked about it long enough. I might as well drop this in the uh, in the chat now. Um, I don't know what I'm up to now. On I haven't made it all the way through yet. But um, but I did notice that there were um, when I was looking, there were two other like I think they were both like COVID relief. Um, compilations but one of them was electronic i might be able to find that actually oh and then i'd be more specific but um so there's the there's the one let's see if i can find those other two real quick oh yeah so this one has 31 i haven't listened to this one um but this one's a german um compilation uh, of elect, I think it's electronic music. Yeah. So you know, buyer beware on that one. And then um, this one um, is a, a UK compilation. It's got 85 tracks on it. And this one um, claims to be experimental and minimalist, um, which I'm always a bit suspect of things that say instrument or experimental. But um, I'll drop that in there as well um so yeah compilations um are definitely um i think the thing about the compilation is that like if you can just wait for like the one track that you're don't like to be over then maybe there'll be something good on the other side i don't know uh and then and when there's enough tracks at least it's like worth kind of like pushing through i think instead of just clicking out of it um, all right. So, oh yeah, I wanted to mention some specific net labels. Um, so just plain sounds is out of Richmond. Um, I've mentioned yoga for your ears before. Uh, I think they're out of Phoenix, Oregon. Um, and then hypnotic dirge is one of my 
um, personal favorites in there, mostly black metal, but um, a little bit of like black and doom, um, I would say as well. Um, and then I mentioned Magnatune briefly, um, but that's just another music site. Again, like going to different music sites can be useful um, for finding new stuff. Um, all right. Oh, and we, we already talked about, we talked about Facebook groups. Anybody follow anybody like interesting on Twitter or anything? A lot of people have been doing that like 15 albums thing and they throw up 15 albums that they will never stop listening to. Yeah. I've been, I don't know, is that like, a, I don't know what to call that, but, but uh, whatever it is, people have been doing that lately and I've been paying attention to those. It's pretty interesting, you know, uh, to, to see from people that are really into music yeah yeah for sure i follow some trip hop related gr groups on facebook but it's it's like 10 massive attack posts <laughs> yeah <day. laughs> yeah I, um do you do vk at all yeah but it's it's too hard to about music What's uh, I thought I thought it was kind of like music focused. Is it not? No, no. Oh, I thought I thought I thought that was kind of like the new, the new Russian MySpace, but. EK. It, it's more more like Facebook rather than mm. MySpace. Lance, yeah. you're saying did, you kind of cut out there. Yeah, I have an account on there. I have not really done much on it. I had a friend of mine at Cisco shared a couple of Russian bands with me, but hmm. I haven't logged in in a few months now. Yeah, it may be that like oh. they change focus because it used to be super music heavy. Like a lot of bands had their like their VKs, like bands used to have their their MySpace, uh, but I don't know. Have, I you, haven't. have you guys heard of I Speak? I have not. Oh, yeah. Oh, my it's gosh. So so bad bad music. Music. I love them. <laughs> They're amazing. They're like bands that the KGB shut down their shows and shut down their Facebook because oh, they're that's... so incredible. I think, my opinion, it's I C three. Deserve to be closed <laughs> just because they're bad. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! I, I I was on their live concert. It was oh really? So, so bad. Gonna be your videos not on. Oh, sorry. Hang on. Yeah. I'm, I'm having. Well, now you're now you're muted. <laughs> <laughs> okay, hang on. One moment. Here we are. Sorry. Okay. Oh wow. Hi, I'm here. I don't know what's going on with you. There, there, there you okay, are. Okay, so I'm going to. Even though he doesn't like it, Victor, you don't like it. Yeah. No. Sorry. <laughs> I. I wasn't on the, their live concert. It was like a guy playing some beats on yeah. some strange tempo. Girls sing completely out of tune. Uh, and, and I'm standing. standing was it the Shags? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Well, I'll just drop the name in the uh, chat and you guys can research it yourself. I, uh, if you don't want to, I don't care. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> that's what this is about, right? Follow your own will. <sighs> oh, well. Nice. I, uh... will damage your ears. <laughs> no. Well, whatever. If you don't like it, it's okay. Um, I also dropped the, uh, a link to the, uh, audio on archive.org and like that is like a rabbit hole you could spend like the rest of your life on but um there are um a, a few collections there so like um blues traveler has like a collection from their like live shows and um the uh um, blues traveler yeah and um they have like a 1200 different recordings um 
and then it's the same thing with like um the grateful dead i was like struggling with their name for a <laughs> second um but um yeah so i don't know if this stuff is from e-tree um or you know those specific ones or if they're just um so the fma has like seventeen thousand tracks on there um but uh yeah there's just a whole bunch of stuff it's not all music um but there is a net label collection that i wanted to um to put on here i don't know where that went though i know only two net labels is dusted wax kingdom and block sonic yeah <laughs> well i uh i just mentioned uh, a couple of others oh ween has a collection on there um so yeah the the yoga for your ears um is a uh, in hypnotic dirge and just plain sounds those are all uh net labels um disco smaracas um is a spanish um metal net label um yeah there's so many different net labels out there uh, well actually like if you go to Klong, that Klong Klong Moo net label, um, there's like 200 or something. I don't know how many there are. There's, there's tons. Um, but uh, ch -ch 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 -ch. I'm struggling to get, find the actual net label thing on here. I wonder if I clicked on the wrong, um, the wrong thing from the audio. Let's see if I can go back. This, Oh, well, there's a link from the like homepage. I should have just gone on, clicked on that rather than on the all audio. Um, so I will drop that in. Oh. So if you do want to look at net labels, then like, yeah, a whole bunch of them are, have stuff on archive.org. And there's the dust, dusted wax that Victor mentioned on that, on the first row there. Um, but yeah, there are genres all over the place. Uh, like Torn Flesh Records is a metal, a metal one. WM Recording stands for Weirdo Music. Um, so obviously they think think of themselves as being rather strange. Um, but yeah, that, the, in the comments. The Weirdo. Sure, I'm in. I'm yeah. in. You got me. Yeah. Right. yeah, and then. Um, since we're talking about weird stuff, I should, uh, I'll drop a link to, um, to Robert's, um, Gurdon Arc, um, project. Cause he, um, he calls himself a weird being. Um, he's actually a, uh, an attorney in Texas. Um, but he, he does music and also he's worth, if you like, like pictures of nature and stuff, he's worth following on on Twitter. Um, oh, man. He does a lot of um, a lot of well, he, he, he does birding, I guess is what you call it. Um, but, uh, and I guess from the Twitter, there's a link to his uh, to his <laughs> uh, page there. So I'll drop that in there too, just to his page. But if you're into oh. that, like he made some music out of um, one of those like little toy, like um, hockey um, things, you know, that like rattle and then the puck sort of like rattles on it. Um, I don't know if you guys know what I'm talking about, but um, but he did some, made some music from there. So he's, um, it's a weird way to make music if nothing else. So. <laughs> hmm. So I think I made it through my list of things, um, you know, about finding music. I don't know if anybody else had anything they wanted to share. Yeah, I'll share. If, um, hang on. I'm going to share a list that a friend of mine made. Um, well, great. Sorry, it's like so late. Um, just some end of the fucking world doomsday <laughs> playlist just for the heck of it. Since somebody shared that with me, if you're looking for anything. Um, let's see. 
Let me see. I'll just share that with you one sec. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. I'm like so slow here. Oh, that's fine. I was, I'm just catching up on the comments and uh, Beth and Dan are having a, uh, a, a um, transatlantic feud here. So. <laughs> oh, wait a second. Is it like still not still about. There we go. Here's something. Did you see our? Did you see the playlist that we um, created for the Sochtot music? No. Is it on Spotify? Yeah, I think it's pinned in that group. Um, I can't add things to it anymore. Oh, uh, that's a bummer. Oh man, I'll tell you, play a place that I found out about a lot of music from. I I found it. I was couldn't remember the name and and uh, but and I don't know if the website's really up to. I don't know if they're really keeping it, but it's worth going through the archives if you're interested, and I'll put it in the chat as well. Waxidermy.com. It's a really You've mentioned great... that before. Oh, yeah. I, I love yeah. it. I love it. I love it. It's hard to find the albums, but when you find them, it's like finding gold. Ooh. Mm. Do you know if there's some sort of, like, playlist limit? I see we have... 17, no. 17 hours and 30 oh. minutes of music. Uh, Best says no. I can add things again. Shit's about to get real. I don't think... Unless, do you have a premium account? Uh, I do, yeah. Yeah, because, like, I have... I have, like, a hundred plus. I, there's a limit on them. Yeah. I wonder if we should just have a playlist for each week, though. I mean, like, the one single playlist is kind of un... Yeah, but I just listen to that on Shuffle. I, I shuffle mean, but... Shuffle. Yeah, I mean, I still think it's a little... It's a beast. <laughs> but, uh, you know, you... I'm not, I'm not going to maintain different ones, so, um, you know, I guess if you guys like it, <laughs> Does everybody listen and talk about it? You were kind of cutting out there. Oh. Does anybody do you guys every week have you ever just listened to a song and then everybody comment on it? Or not? No. Oh, yeah. that's, no, the, the Well we, we kind of did that, that with um Victor. Spotify Shares. is a new thing where you can have like a group listening session. I was meaning to look into that, but uh would we have to get oh, really? permission That's... from the artists to do that? Well, or the, the question label? is whether, well, if, um, like, is it recorded? I mean, you were saying that a listening party on Spotify, that would just be like, I would just come through our headset. It wouldn't be recorded, I don't think. So we could all just listen and then talk about it on the recording. Yeah, so. that's neat. I mean, assuming we had Spotify accounts, which I never use mine, but I do. In I don't like Spotify. One. I don't either. But well, yeah, that and musically both. I don't like them. But um, uh, you know, I'd be I'd be down for a uh, Spotify party. Yeah, <laughs> I was actually shot. thinking of that earlier too. I I think it'd be neat to have music during our podcast and make it more interesting. So. Oh, I was gonna say I poured some water, but I have this water here, so I don't actually have to go into the other room. Oh my to get gosh! Some water. I haven't visited this site in a long time. It's great. <laughs> this Spotify or a different site? No, Waxidermy. Mm. I love this site. It's amazing. I, I've had such any time I'm out in the wild and I find an album that I've seen on this site. It's always been just this amazing album. So. So it sounds like that uh, next week the topics will be um, for up for vote will be ska, ska punk, ska core, reggae, <laughs> third wave ska. <laughs> I'm still, uh, I'm Here, still watching. The, yeah, was like black, black and white uh, emo kids. What about emo kids? Ska kids, it's like bl black and white emo kids. <laughs> <laughs> the checkerboard. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm just, I'm just saying, what's that about emo kids? 
I'll put on my um my Doc Martin wingtips, <laughs> some skinny pants, and a 1980s. Oh yeah, my black and white checkered shirt. <laughs> <laughs> the occasion we can dress up. I uh I don't want to derail the conversation too much, but um, Dana's got lots of fun ideas. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> um, but I want to ask Ben. Do you like any music with horns? Like I'm trying to figure out where the ska hate comes from. Yeah, music with horns is fine. Okay. Just not ska. Yeah, that's fine. No, I mean, ska definitely has like a beat. I mean, you don't even necessarily have to have horns for ska, although that's a common thing that happens, you know. But uh, <coughs> Is it the pep? That you uh, it might just be too happy. Uh, I don't, do you ever just have like a visceral reaction to something and you don't feel like you need yeah. to explain it because you just, don't like, like it. let's, let's say you don't like a food. Like, how do you explain how you don't like that food? It, I mean, sometimes it's not can. for you, right? Yeah. It's like, I don't like coconut, but I can tell you why. It's because like, it has this weird, like the texture is what I don't like. It's very, it's a very specific. Yeah, I like, feel like that about Scott, except it's everything. Oh, okay. It's it's the everything I don't like. And let me just be clear that it's only like 90s ska punk. Like, I guess actual ska is okay, but like, that's not what people are talking about when they talk about ska. They're talking about other things. Hmm. Okay. The toasters. The toasters. Yeah. <laughs> That I mean, that there might be a uh, legitimate discussion about the different waves of ska to be to be had. Um, I'm also naturally predisposed to not liking music that's happy. Yeah, and ska is like <laughs> could be fuck that shit. It's like fake happy, lame, bad happy. Yeah, but see, Nobody's like happy. B52s but, are new wave, right? They're not. Yeah, ska. B52s aren't ska. B52s are new wave. Yeah, I know. They're just in that. They're just happy. Happy. See, yeah, this, yeah. They this are is, a happy band. When I think of happiness, B-52s do come to mind. That's interesting. This is why I, I think that you haven't given Leftover Crack and Choking Victim uh, like an adequate shot, Dan, because that, that is not happy music. Yeah, but I don't, that's, if I have to explain it, I can't make you understand. Mm. Fair enough. <laughs> What is this leftover crack? Uh, I just posted the. Oh uh, yeah, I'm checking it out. Yeah. Interesting. That's a great band name. Yeah, I think I actually saw some on the street the other day. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and then the uh, the other band that's associated with them. What did? Choking victim. They kind of come out of the like crass style of punk. So, um, I mean, that lineage, not, I wouldn't, if you go, if you listen to them and you think you're going to be listening to crass, then you're going to be disappointed, but, and they, they sort of like come, come out of that a decade and a half later or so, I suppose. Um, but all right. Well, um, I think I probably need to eat something. I ate a mango before this, and I think I might have, I might have my my mango stores here. Um, so yeah. Um, anybody else got anything that they want to share about finding new music before we uh, draw things to a close? I haven't got something about finding new music, but. I've but what? I've joined a new band. Oh, that's exciting, Beth. What band? Did I? Literally brand new. No, no. Does it have a name? We haven't even got that far yet, but it's that's all That's exciting. Good for you. All females, and it's going to be like hailstormy. That'll be fun. I'm in a collective right now. We're starting a collective. That's exciting. Did yeah. you say L storm or hell storm? Definitely not L storm. Thank you. I still didn't. Uh... It was hail storm. I think she said. Hail storm is not the route we're going. We're going more hail storm. Yeah, I don't know who that is. So it doesn't. What is Liz that? Oh. 
Meteorological. <laughs> we're 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 gonna give them the weather in our. Uh, in our I mean, it sounds metal, but um, I don't know. Very good. I've definitely posted. I posted them in the chat before. Oh. Uh, oh, cool. But I said the name is there. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not good, very good at following the chat. <clears throat> All right. But uh. Kind of tabs open, so. <laughs> yeah. Let's see someone else. And I think, I think the um. The suggestion of saving the chat is a good one. So I guess I will do that now. Chat saved. Um, so I, uh, I'm going to drop off, which is going to um, stop the recording. But uh, as long as Ben hangs out, then the, um, the chat will, you guys can still talk, correct? This is great. I enjoyed having all the new people today. It's pretty fun. Thanks Sweet. for inviting us. You are welcome. So all what right. is next week's Great to topic? to see all you good people. Oh, uh, we haven't decided. So um, part of the reason why that I was doing it a week ahead of time was so I could announce it. Um, but I realized that now that I started that Facebook group, um, there's no real reason to announce it. Um, so people can just, you know, join the group. Um, and if somebody's watching, then, um, you know, when they don't know how to find, it's called quarantine music chat. Um, but you can also just email me, Doug at blocksonic.com, D-O-U-G at B-L-O-C-S-O-N-I-C.com. And then um, I can um, make sure that you get approved to the to the group or send you a link or what evs. And then I always post the, the, um, the voting in the, um, the so stash music um, Slack channel as well. So there's no reason to be in both. Um, but if anybody wants to be in both, um, I can post it. I just didn't see a lot of point in posting it. So, um, but yeah, everybody. So like everybody except Ben and Dana that's here is in that Facebook group. So, and there are, there are 16 people in that Facebook group. So perhaps other people. So like Greg who came last week, he's in that group. Um, and he goes by Gregory everywhere else. Um, but his, his zoom thing said, Greg, I meant to ask him if he wanted to be Greg or Gregory, but maybe I'll do that once I press stop here. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, we will, I will post, um, I've already got them typed out. Um, and I will, um, set up that chat sometime this afternoon. Somebody ping me if you don't see it this afternoon. Okay. All right. This was this was my favorite that we've done so far. I enjoyed today. Sweet. I'm Maybe. just talking about bread. We should have another bread discussion again. I feel like we're overdue. I don't even remember a bread conversation. Yeah, you were gone. Do you remember? We talked about bread. No, I don't because I was gone. At Lake. A... Yeah, for probably 20, 30 minutes. Yeah, well, um, okay. <laughs> Next week, bread and things I don't like. I will... Uh, you know what I will do <laughs> right now. I saw a press. I have a good pretzel recipe. Oh, sure. food chat. So, yeah, do it. I, I'm curious now. This um, this bread, like that you don't like. Like, is it all bread products or just? No, I like bread. I no, like talking bread, about bread. Oh, bread okay. and also things that I don't like. Okay, I got gotcha. you. I'm gonna say two two distinct topics. Trunk Trunk Nam in uh, I think it's on University in St. Paul. I mean, I know how to get there, but I think, yeah, it's university. That place has the best croissants ever. So, um, ever. No. Awesome. Good to All know. All right. Well, I'll see you guys. All All right. Right. You guys have an amazing week. You too. You too. Thanks. You too. Bye. 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 Bye.